Mm -hmm. All right, we got Spotify wrapped sound check. I don't know if y'all have seen this, but Spotify, you know, they do the rap at the end of the year, every single year, where they say, hey, yo, you got this many streams from this many people. You know, they send all the stats out from all these people in, across the world. Well, now they've added a little feature where you can send your fans a video on top of that. And there's a checklist that comes along with that. All right, a, a complete, I got to prepare for it. Got, yeah, they want bit. you to prepare for yeah. it. This year they're making it way more, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Interactive or... No, right? Interactive, yeah. that's the word. Yeah, way that's more the interactive than they, from the artist side than they've made it in, in past years. Yeah. So let's, you know, we'll try to talk about if there's any ideas we have. But to me, it's kind of straightforward. Yeah. A complete checklist of actions you can take now to prepare for the biggest fan moment of the year. November 18th, November 18th, November 18th. Y'all remember that because the stuff we're talking about is due before November 18th. Um, but the biggest thing is getting personal with a video message i'm just gonna read this real quick and then jacory tell me your thoughts man shout out to your top listeners for making it happen this year in under 30 seconds record a video to let fans know what their support meant to you in 2022 you can thank your fans tease what you're working on next or tell a story that defined your year upload your video through spotify for artists as soon as possible no later than november 18th for uh, for an opportunity to be featured in your fans 22 2022 rap experience on spotify now this is the weird part that in the how to get it done okay yeah they give you the specifications but they say make sure your video has no music singing or lyrics crazy. no explicit content <laughs> no logos or brands and no text, graphics, or filters. So what the hell am I going to be just saying want, in this video? They just want you and, the, you and your voice, man. They just want you <laughs> and your thoughts. They don't want none of that extra shit. Uh, that, that, that is interesting. <laughs> like, Are they trying to protect themselves from being finessed? Where like, I could say, yo, man, all, all the artists we know, you know, put a no labels necessary logo in your wrapped up so then we get free advertisement? Probably, yeah. Or like <laughs> keeping you from trying to like sell... The people in your rap throwing something. Maybe that. You know probably that. Yeah. There we go. Because you're getting out to a certain region. Mm -hmm. That's pro that's the mm -hmm. more relevant thing. There it is. <laughs> there it is. But it's I mean, this is this is cool though because it's making me think. Um, I don't know if you remember, but it was like a rumor early in the year that Spotify was getting ready to release like a short form content portion of the thing. It's been it's been going around for a while. Where it's like apparently I remember that one. Yes, yeah, so I'm wondering if like if. One, the leak was just wrong, and this is really what that meant. Like, this is that short form thing, or if this is like the the preface to it. Like, this is their way of warming up the audience and getting them used to seeing short form content from the artists on Spotify. Yeah, so they can drop that shit. Yeah, either way, it's cool. I think I think it's dope that they're letting artists actually have a part in the Spotify raps. Cause there's like a couple other and stuff. actually like reach their audience and say something. Yeah, and say something <laughs> exactly. Like that's actually probably the closest to. A retargeting campaign outside, like you no, know, the Spotify marquee ads or something that you that you're gonna get, bro. Like you can talk directly to every person that listened to you this year, or listened to you a significant amount to where you were in their their rap. That shit's unheard of. I wonder if off platform messages are are like can you be like, yo, y'all follow, go follow me on. TikTok. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. I mean, it, it don't say you can. It doesn't say that. <laughs> it doesn't say that. Hey, y'all might want to try that, right? <laughs> say yo, because y'all got all these Spotify followers, and and I know a lot yeah. of y'all Spotify followers don't add up to you know your Instagram followers, TikTok followers, etc. You might want to go ahead and say, follow me on my IG page. Appreciate y'all so much. Got so much coming out. Da da da. Because. I figure I feel like somebody's gonna do that yeah. and they're gonna they're gonna cut that out like next year. So y'all might want to get that in the first time around. Sit down, be as creative as possible, and think as many loopholes as possible to this because this is their first time around. There's some loopholes yeah. and some shit that you're not gonna be able to do in the future because because pe people done capped already. So yeah, yeah. be one of the first cappers. Oh yeah, that's the first one. It's definitely gonna be at least at least fifty R's that fuck it up for everybody next hey, year. Exactly. <laughs> at least the, the first rule of cap is cap first. <laughs> Easy, bro. You got you got to be that. So. Like, this is a really dope feature that I, I agree with you. And, you know, speaking on the retargeting, it's weird. It seems that Spotify is slowly, extremely slowly providing more fan engagement channels. Yeah, that's fair. But 
they're going to remain in control in ways that other platforms wouldn't. So, for example, like, okay, if I got the ability to create an email list from this platform and then I could retarget my fans from the ads, um, like on IG, right? I could create an email list and then retarget them there or, or hit them up with an email and all yeah. these different things. Yeah. I could do it at will. This, this is a part of your wrap up, your wrap up. So that's the only time you're going to have the opportunity to do that. Yeah. And I, I know I sent that message earlier. I don't know if you saw it, but I had the little pop up with uh, Taylor, oh, Taylor Swift. Swift thing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. yeah. I'm going to read this to y'all exactly what it said. So when Taylor Swift's album dropped, I went ahead and like checked out the first track. Well, I was going to like check. I was going to check out the whole album. I, well, that's what I told myself. <laughs> <laughs> I checked out the first track and I was like, oh, shit, Taylor going somewhere, bro. I kind of like this new direction. I can, I'm kind of vibing with this. I might actually run through the whole thing. And the second track was like, oh, okay. I'm definitely not her demographic. She did. <laughs> she went back that other direction again. But like, she got it in her though. If she want to make a whole album of the first song, I would be there for it. <laughs> so she said, you've, li oh, not she. Spotify gave me a pop up saying, you've listened to 10% of Taylor Swift's new album, Midnight's. Keep listening. And then there's a button that says, listen now. Like, that's beautiful retargeting. It is, bro. That is the equivalent of, I added this to my shopping cart. Yep. And then I didn't buy, and that's the shopping cart retargeting. Yep. Right? Anybody in e-commerce and all that stuff, y'all know the value of something like that. So the fact that they're doing things like that and they have the ability is huge. But what's the availability of it? Does, can anybody do this for their fan base? Probably not. Probably, Probably not. not. Probably, Probably not. not. Uh, so <laughs> at what level do you have access to something like this? That's a question. And more importantly, what's going to be downstream to the indies like how much will they be able to do things like this even if it's not based on you right like again the wrap up thing is end of the year all right mm -hmm. here's your opportunity can they have they should have more things like this even if they are the ones who control it but like hey if you want to have something to provide under this criteria, if people listen to X percentage and then give them give them a pop up or whatever, you know, I can't even think of the other scenarios because they restrict so much. Um, I guess well, running ads, marquee ads, let you target who right now? Uh, um, you can target like your past listeners or people that listen to other stuff. So like marquee ads are one of the closest to like retargeting ads, yeah, you get in Spotify. So I don't know, like maybe giving more that we can do with that, but. The, so they they're limited, they're limited, but the, but we know for a fact more than anybody, their crossover and the ability to reach a fan base mm -hmm. that's already truly engaged with your music and liking your music is bar none to anybody else. Yeah. So I I would love if they added more stuff like that. You know, even though I was surprised, you know, what I'm saying I'm like, dang, bro, like, I can imagine like if I was on somebody else's Spotify. And then I got they got a little pop up. I'm like, bro, you listen to what? You tried to hide it. Like yeah. those people might not even want you to know. Twenty percent, man. <laughs> like, dang, bro. You said we was gonna wait. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like that specific feature, yeah, because it, it feels like they gatekeep it for probably like a year before it kind of trickles down. Because marquee ads were, yeah, circulating like last year sometime, right? When mm -hmm. they have the, the discover ads or whatever the new one is that. Still hasn't made his way to everybody yet. You know, still some if you know, you know type shit. So yeah, I'm, I'm we had the Marquis. How many months before it came out? Before it became like super public, maybe like a month and a half before it got super public. Okay, I yeah. just remember but we, we had to like, ask for it. Like we had to, you know, like yeah, talk to yeah, this talk to people. Yo, jump through some hoops and get that shit. <laughs> and then because I tried to get us access to the new that shit, and they like no. Nah. So I'm like, oh, they serious about that shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like that yeah, shit, they yeah, like yeah. no, nah, not yet. Oh yeah, I remember that one because I was excited about that yeah, one. Yeah, same, bro. Still, I might, I might hit shoot him with a follow email, yeah, see what's yeah. up. So exactly. I'm assuming that you know they keep following that same kind of pathway. We'll be seeing that probably like summertime next year. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Maybe around this time next year for that for that same feature. Right. Right. <laughs> Appreciate you watching. Fun fact: Every time you soak up one of these gems, you get a little bit smarter from these clips. So if you wanna be a gem seeker, collect all the gems. Keep watching. I'll see you in the next clip.